With the render done, I'll open up a flipbook. And in the render pictures folder, I'll just make sure I find it. There it is, stand and cheer, 260 frames. Oops, got a wrong frame rate here. Make sure we're at uh, film rate, uh, 24 frames per second. And uh, let's see how this whole thing plays out. So it actually doesn't look too bad. There's no penetration of the cloth and the skin, and the clothing actually holds up really well. We don't see any collisions at all. So of course we could uh, keep on refining this a little bit more, but as far as the workflow goes, that's pretty much it for cloth, uh, as far as it comes to clothing on characters. Uh, we haven't really covered anything like pins, um, but this is the most difficult process. Pinning things into place uh, is um, secondary when it comes to the importance of being able to tune cloth properly. And again, the calculator that we used early on is the key to the the whole cloth kind of mystery. So I hope this series of cloth-based uh, training tutorials has been uh, useful for you um, and you took something from it. Thanks for uh, tuning in.